During the day, I'm a lobbyist political consultant. I help people get, re get elected or reelected. On the lobbying side, I'm probably best known as a uh, hired gun. I was in Maui vacationing, and I walked into a gallery, and I saw this Maui prince on a uh, piece of wood. It was uh, made of mosaics, and he charged $2,500. And I said, gee, I can do that. And uh, came home and went on the internet. Actually told the people at Mountain Mosaics, give me a sample of uh, glasses. I'm gonna want to do a gecko, so give me some greens. And got back a tiny box that, was, that enabled me to produce my first piece, which was a gecko that was very small. And I said, oh, I think this is going to be an expensive hobby. All of the pieces I do make usually are given away. It's one of the easiest ways to get motivated to do more is to let them take it. Uh, most of my Maryland pieces are my favorite. I've done three or four Marylands, and it's really a piece that people, when they come to the house, uh, go right to it and take it off the wall. Uh, but Jackie O, uh, uh, Jackie also goes really quick. I think I've made three Jackies, and they were all given to people that were Democrats. I never know what happens to them. Most of the people are, are amazed that I even have the patience to sit down and do this. Uh, I think a lot of people in town would think that my reputation is one of high intensity and uh, take no prisoners. So I'm, you, when I come into this, they go, there's this softer side of Neil, and uh, I don't look at it as a soft side. I look at it as, I love the art of glass. Sometimes the pieces come in a big sheet with um, uh, pieces that I then crack. Other times they're already cracked and I put them into jars that are surrounding this room. Smalty is a, like a big uh, sheet of glass that is baked like a pizza. And so the colors tend to be really bright. The smalties come in oranges and reds and pinks, and, but it's very difficult to work with because it comes in a very thick piece and in order to cut it, uh, you use another device that, that is very much stronger. So each piece to break it um, probably gives you just a little bit of pain when you're doing it. So I don't do many small pea pieces because by the time I'm done with a piece, you know, my fingers are pretty well beat up. The, the hardest part in this process is getting into the groove of cracking the pieces. Once I'm in the groove, I can uh, clearly move quickly. I've gotten better at estimating about what I'm gonna do and how I'm gonna put a piece in, but generally, um, it goes pretty quickly once you, once you figure out how your angles are going and get the experience of it. Uh, this is just a well-bound kind of glue. Um, it's enough to keep these on until it's grouted. It's the grout that is really going to keep it together. This particular piece is for my, an anniversary gift for my, my wife. You know, when, when, when others are out playing golf, and they'll put eight hours into playing golf to score 90. Um, at the end of that day, there's not very much left other than a memory. This, I get the memory and a piece that will last probably for 100 years. I think everyone has it in them to do art. Do the best you can with what you have, and I think it's that in itself gives you a lot of self-confidence.